This video shows how to assemble a Bike Friday packet out of the box. When you open the box, you'll find the various components to be installed onto the bike frame. These include the front wheel, handlebars and stem, seat mast and seat post, and any accessories you ordered. Be careful not to scratch your new bike's paint while cutting zip ties. This is where diagonal cutters really work better than scissors. Depending on your bike's setup, other tools you may need include a metric hex wrench set and a 15mm wrench for the pedals. Once all packing materials have been removed, get started by unfolding the bike. Next, find the stem riser and click it into the front of the frame. Secure the stem riser by closing its quick release lever. Like all bicycle quick releases, you should begin feeling resistance about halfway through and a solid push will finish closing the lever. If it feels too loose or too tight, adjust the lever by rotating it in the stem riser's threaded clamp. This is different than most quick release levers. Because the clamp is threaded, the direction the lever points will affect how tightly it clamps. Correct lever tension is critical, but you may find that this places the quick release lever pointed down, where it will strike the frame when the bars are turned. In this case, continue tightening the lever slightly until it is clear of the bike frame. Keeping the quick release's nut tight will help maintain adjustment each time you remove or install the bars while folding the bike. Note that different length risers are available to purchase to customize your handlebar height. The riser should always be fully inserted and is not adjustable in height. The bolt above the stem riser clamp holds your riser secure in the clamp. This bolt should only be loosened if replacing the riser. Your handlebars may have come pre-installed in the stem. If not, you'll need to remove the stem faceplate to install the bars. When positioning the bars, be sure the bars are right side up with the brake levers pointed forwards. Check that the cables curve gently up from the frame without wrapping around any part of the frame or twisting around one another. Once you're happy with the position of the bars, ensure each of the stem faceplate bolts are equally tight. Next find the seat mast. Note that it has a minimum insertion mark indicated by a series of hash marks. Insert the seat mast at least as far as these marks and adjust the quick release until it is closed securely. Now find the seat post, which will also have a minimum insertion mark. Install the seat post at or beyond this mark, straighten the saddle, and securely close the quick release lever. Some bikes may come with pedals pre-installed, but if you're installing pedals, they will be marked for the left and right sides. Each side uses a different thread direction. For the right side pedal, turn the pedal spindle clockwise to tighten. Always start pedal threads by hand and finish tightening gently with a tool. Do the same for the left pedal, which turns counterclockwise to tighten. For both sides, when tightening, the wrench will turn towards the front of the bike as it moves across the top of the pedal. Be sure the pedals are tightened firmly. If they're merely finger tight, the pedals will damage the aluminum threads on the cranks. Next, remove the plastic fork spacer, which is held in place by the front wheel's quick release skewer. Remove the spacer from the skewer, taking care not to lose the skewer's conical springs. Slide the skewer into the axle of the front wheel with one spring on each side of the axle. The small end of each spring should point inward towards the hub, while the large end of each spring points out towards the quick release lever and nut. With the brake release lever open, install the wheel in the fork and tighten the quick release lever. Remember to close the brake release. You're done! Before riding away, give the brakes a test squeeze and check all bolts and quick releases to make sure the bike is ready to go.